This is an example problem of how to isolate for the unknown variable. Okay, so I want to isolate for the unknown. My goal here is to get everything with the variable, or the variable x in this case, on one side of the equal sign. It could be on the left or the right, doesn't matter which side. I'm going to choose the left. I'm just going to, that's how I typically I'm going to do it, so I'll stick with that. So I'm looking at this. There are a couple things I can do. I could simplify it um, if I wanted to, but I'm going to choose not to do that yet. Instead, I'm going to move everything with an X in it that's on the right over to the left-hand side. So remember, my goal was to move everything with an X on the left. So to do that, I've got positive 6X. So I'm going to do the opposite. I'm going to subtract 6X. I've got negative 4X, so I'm going to do the opposite. And I'm going to add 4X. But I've got to do that to both sides because it's an equal sign. So whatever happens on the left, it's got to equal whatever happens on the right. So I'm going to do the same thing to both sides. So here I go, negative 6x plus 4x. And you can see on the left side, something nice happens. The 6s go away, the 6x go away. And the 4x's, they're going to go away on the right-hand side. But on the left-hand side, I've got to combine my like terms. It's everything with an x in it. So that's going to give me the new expression, 3 plus 3x is equal to 12. Now I need to move everything without an x in it to the other side, in this case, 3. So I'm going to move the 3 to the right-hand side. So and it's positive 3x. I'm going to subtract 3 from both sides. So there we go. Minus 3 on the left, minus 3 on the right. And you can see on the left-hand side, the negative 3 and 3 will go away. So now it leaves me with 3x is equal to 9. To isolate the x, that's 3 times x. So now I'm going to divide both sides by 3. So 3x divided by 3 and 9 divided by 3. And you can see on the left-hand side, the 3s are going to go away. So x is equal to 9 divided by 3. So x is equal to 3.